guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do an update for my single ladies and my man matt and i have some progress to show you guys i'm pretty excited about it to be honest um i'm not rolling anything new in or out or stuff like that but i do have some pants to show you guys i'm excited this is a project created by Amanda and Jessica and they will be linked down below as always. Plus the other ladies that have joined in or just was a part of the collab in the beginning anyways. But yes, I will insert some pictures and stuff like that when I talk about the products. We are working on a matte palette or a bundle of mattes this year at least. Um, I'm working on a matte palette because why not? And then four single ladies overall, four single shadows. If you haven't, if you're new to this series and my channel, um, I have been doing this since last January, so January in 2019. So if you have been following me, you would know all about this project. So let me just get into my palette and my shadows, and we can talk about some progress and exciting news. For my matte palette, I am working on my W7 Major Matte Palette this year. This one right here, I'm using this every single day and I have been working so hard on these two shadows this month and I wanted to hit pan so bad because the dips were huge last month. So I was insert a picture where I was last month. How exciting is it to see those two pans? I'm really excited it only took me like five months <laughs> to hit ban on these yeah i have worn them almost every single day so that is really really exciting to have pan on them because now i can move i can move on i can do something else which is so amazing yeah if you're new to my channel i love to have panel stuff and then move on because i have so much shadow in my collection to work on i do think i'm going to do panda's eyeshadows last next year and maybe not do this and a panda palette because i i have a lot going on and i need to hit panel more shadows because i want to so yeah i hit pan on these two shadows i'm so excited i hit pan on this today in my outer corner i'm so excited so i have been i haven't used this shadow in a few weeks i think i have been really working on this shadow above it in my crease from now on and it is working a little bit better with the pink and purple i have in my panda palette and a little bit with the green as well um those greens that i'm panning but yes this was a really nice brown but because it was a little bit warmer it matched this one one so nice um i haven't decided if i wanted to work on this one or this one for the outer corner with this i do think this is going to be a little bit too deep for the summertime but let's see where it goes i am working on this one now as i said um and the mats are still just going like they're going um i do i have worked on this uh quite a bit more the last few weeks so i'm excited to be working on the matte cream shade so i don't know what my progress can be on this palette for next month because it took me five months to hit pan on these two but almost a i wouldn't say daily use but i use makeup like five times a week so kind of um but i have been wearing these so much like Almost every single time I have worn makeup, I have worn these. At, at least this one. Yeah. So, I don't know what my goal can be, but I'm really excited about these two new pants. For my single ladies, I have firstly my Kiko Single Shadow in 133. I've used this like a few times, so I have no idea if you can see some progress. But I've been really focusing on the outer corner, so maybe I'm just going to use this in my outer corner actually. Um, yeah, maybe I am because this is kind of cool toned and not as deep as the other dark browns in the palette. That might be a goal to so depend on this. I have a Kiko eyeshadow from the High Pigment in 54. I have used it a few times in my crease and outer corner and stuff like that, but I don't know how much pro progress you can see. But I have used it a few times. 
yeah, let's just go quickly over that. I have worked so hard on this one. The P2, the future is my eternal star mono eyeshadow. This one right here. In virtually bronze. I have it on my eyelid today. I have worn it quite a few times this last month. So I hope you can see the progress that I'm making from the pan. My goal was actually to hit side pan, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I just think I'm going to expand it to the sides and maybe a little bit up. So I'm just using it and I'm I'm loving this shadow. This is so beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if I can hit pan, but that would be really nice to hit pan on it or hit side pan for next update. Da -da -da -da! I departed it today. <laughs> I kind of broke the packaging and I broke some of the shadow. Oh my god, it was a mess. This is the Essence Single Eyeshadow in Snowflake. If you have seen this pa uh, pan of eyeshadow from me, you would know it is a plastic packaging and this is uh, like soft plastic, I would say. Um, so nothing really broke with the pan, it wasn't bended or anything, but when I flipped it up, I did put uh, alcohol to loosen the glue underneath, but and then I just dry pressed this top part right here, but and in the middle there, you can see that is a hole straight through the pan, so yeah, <laughs> so I just put a magnet where the hole is so it didn't. So it, it it so it isn't in my palette, but yes, the pan has definitely expanded, so you can see the middle there quite, and that is quite visible. But yes, it looks a little weird now. But hopefully, I can use this top part fast, so it wouldn't crumble again. It is an extremely soft eyeshadow but I love it for my inner corners and that is the only thing that I'm wearing it as. I have worn it on top, on top of the lime green that I'm panning uh, a few times on my eyelid but I didn't really like the result so I just used it in my inner corner and focused on some other shadows for my lid but I just had to try to create like a shimmery lime green with the shadows that I was panning um, but yeah. I, don't, I didn't like it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited for my two new pants and that I finally departed that dang essence eyeshadow. I have been saying I would depart it since December and I was just like nope you are not going to film another update and haven't departed that single shadow because you have promised to follow us for like five months. I have done it now. <laughs> and I am not going to say that anymore in my videos. So I'm excited about it and I look forward to my next update to see how much I can do about my progress and my shadows. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos anyway. I do feel that they are kind of boring because I'm not rolling in him new in and I'm not finishing up stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. And until my next video, please take care. Bye.